Hi everyone, this is Ryan Lowell from MessageOps and today I'm going to give you a brief demonstration of our Inkscape Anomaly tool. Anomaly is the newest addition to our Inkscape management portal for Office 365 and Microsoft Azure. The purpose of Anomaly is to help you identify and investigate unexpected cost changes in your Azure subscriptions. Many organizations that have resources built in Azure have sooner or later come across a bill that they didn't expect. And this tool aims to help you control and prevent that type of situation. We use Microsoft's machine learning platform to build a model of your expected Azure resource costs, and then we alert you when your actual costs are above or below that expected range. When those anomalies occur, we give your team the information you need to investigate the cause of the cost changes so you can understand them and make corrections if necessary. So on my screen, you can see the anomaly dashboard. This allows you to browse through the various subscriptions that you have in Azure and see your cost trends on the chart at the bottom. The green area on the chart represents the expected range of spend based on the prior usage that you've had in previous months. The black line shows the actual costs that you incur around that expected spend. When a cost goes outside of the expected spend, either above or below, then an anomaly is logged. In the information field at the bottom, we can see the historical log of when the resources were created, deleted, or when an anomaly was detected. We can also search and filter the notifications by name, tag, date, and type. When an anomaly occurs, we can zoom in to see the individual resource changes which took place and the attribute values of those changes, both the old and the new values. We can determine if those changes were planned or not, and then we can take action on them. We can also see the author of that change, whether that's an administrator, resource provider, or a service principal account. In our settings, this is where we can control who's notified when an anomaly takes place and what the sensitivity of our detection model is for those anomalies to be detected. So you can see, we allow you to control this at the subscription, resource group, and individual resource levels, and you can set the sensitivity low, medium, or high. And this may vary depending on your use cases. For example, you may have resources in Azure which are very variable when it comes to costs. So you may want to set the sensitivity lower for those individual resources so as not to alert. However, at the subscription level, we may want to be very sensitive to cost changes because that can control our annual budgets and things like that for what's been approved to spend in Azure. So this controls the detection of the anomalies themselves. And then on the right hand side, we have the ability to control when a notification goes out about those anomalies being detected. We can set upper and lower bounds for the amount of dollars that we want to send alerts based on. Perhaps we don't want to alert when a change is higher or lower than $20 or $50 or $500. We can set those upper and lower bounds for when those notifications will go out or not. And then down at the bottom, we have the email addresses of the users that you wish to notify when those uh, types of anomaly detections take place. So we've got the ability to fine tune who's notified, when they're notified, and how sensitive the model is. And just like everything else inside of our Inkscape management portal, we do have robust role-based access control. So you can choose and assign access to users to be able to utilize the tool here, even if they don't have access to the Azure environment or the Azure subscriptions that those resources are within, you can still utilize the tool here to look at their cost trends and uh, investigate those anomalies. That's the tool in a nutshell. This is our brand new offering and we've got a lot more to come with this. But uh, stay tuned, and if you want to learn more information, please reach out to us at MessageOps. One of our MessageOps sales specialists will be happy to talk to you and provide you a demo. Thank you very much. Hope you have a great day.